Let's take a quick look at some of the additional functions that could help set up your project and workflow. Many aspects of the project can be defined within the project setup, which is found in the project menu or can be opened by hitting shift S. Here we could define our frame rate for the project. We could extract a frame rate from the video. If we need to do audio pull up or pull down or video pull up, pull down or display for our, our project time format, where we on bars and beats or time code, we could adjust and set our sample rate up to 384K as well as our bit depth and the record file format and adjust the pan law. Key commands are a very powerful aspect of Nuendo and can be freely configurable. So if we wanted to go to our edit function, we can see that we could have all of our key commands set up here. And if we wanted to actually change a particular key command, we could select the event hit our desired keys and hit assign and we could assign that as a key command. If you have muscle memory from other programs or want to use key commands from other popular programs, we could just simply load up those presets like so. You may find yourself doing multiple key commands repeatedly over and over again and this is where we could define and create macros. So if I wanted to just simply create a macro, which is in essence a series of different key commands, we could just simply define these as macros and we could define a key command to actually trigger our macros for us as well. There are a number of different preferences to suit different working styles. Uh, we could edit the preferences from the edit menu on a Windows platform or from the Nuendo menu on the Mac platform. So we could see different preferences for colors, user interface designs, as well as some general. So if we wanted to set like your tape machine monitoring style is a good preference to set up by default, different editing preferences, and these could all be stored as presets. Now, if we wanted to migrate all the configurations from one computer to another or from different users, we could go to your edit menu and store it as a profile so that each user could have a particular user profile that could be stored and freely shared between different versions of Nuendo in perhaps a, a school or classroom environment. So as you can see, working with the project setup and configuring user-definable keyboard shortcuts, macros, and preferences, and being able to export those as a profile is a great way to work with your projects in Nuendo.